to have been taken good care of through good uh, you know, farming practices uh, in the farm, ensuring that the tea has been uh, properly taken care of in terms of fertilizer application, ensuring that the tea is weed free, ensuring that the farms are clean. That way, you will be able to develop a very good tea. And once the tea is ready for plucking, you now get the farmer or the farm hat now plucking that green leaf. Once it is now plucked, then that tea will be taken to the buying center. There are some special baskets that we call Mesede tea uh, that are made even from bamboo that ensure that uh, the tea is not overhandled, it is not bruised, and therefore you maintain the quality all the way up to the collection center or the buying center. At the buying center, uh, three important functions happen. First of all is the checking on the quality, the quality of the plucking, which should be at least two leaves and a bud. If it's more than that, then you can have what we call budgets that will now be accounted for as good quality tea. The other element that will also come in is about the women, because this is the interface where the farmer or the planter who brought the tea at the center will be able to know how many kilograms did I deliver. And if this is a planter or an employee, he will require evidence to take to the farmer or the owner of the tea that this is the number of kilos. Therefore, here we will have now an interface of the women of the tea. And the staff from the factory will be weighing the tea for the farmer and they will be able to get a receipt to confirm the kilograms. From there, the leaf will now be delivered to the factory from the various destinations, from the various buying centers in the catchment. Uh, it could even be in the range of 20, 30 kilometers to the factory. At the factory, because we obtained the weight for the farmer, we weighed the tea for the second time. What we got in the field, we call it the field weight. What we weigh at the factory, we call it the factory weight. And this acts as a check or a measure on our efficiency of weighing of the tea, such that you compare now the factory weight and also the, the field weight. Then the vehicle goes to what we call the off-roading bay. Where all of that tea is now removed and the tea is emptied into what we call the withering traps. Then what happens after this? The leaf that has been unloaded or offloaded onto the withering troughs, air is applied, you, you do the spreading and opening up to ensure that the leaf is cooled. You apply air and that ensures that the withering process now has started. The first step is uh, the taking tea through the rotor vein. The rotor vein, that's what we call maceration, that is now breaking the tea leaf into a smaller particles. After the rotor vein, you now go to the CTC. The CTC means cutting, tearing and curling, where you cut the tea, then you cut the tea, and then uh, that ensures now the tea develops its uh, shapes because you have many different types of uh, grades of the tea. After the CTC now, you go to the fermentation. We use the CFU, which uh, now enables that uh, uh, a provision of air from the bottom through a porous belt and then the tea can take uh, almost 90 minutes in that stage. By this time, the tea will have moved from green, yellowish to brown and then that tea will be ready for the drying process. So after the fermentation, we go now to the drying process. We have the drying uh, equipment which is called a dryer and this has got uh, several radiators which supply now hot air into the plenum chamber of the dryer. By the time that it is coming out of the dryer, then you find that you have lost a lot of moisture and the tea is now ready uh, for, for sorting. We require it now graded. It goes through a machine that we call a pre-sorter, which now removes most of the fibers, most of the dust. And then that tea will go to a machine that we call a fibro screen that will now get the various grades depending on the particle size. The grades that you get will be what we call BP1, which is broken PECO1. You'll get PF1, which is PECO Finance 1. And then you'll get a PD, which is PECO Dust. 
and then you get dust one. The rest of the secondary grids will be obtained by other secondary sorting machinery that will be able to get in the furnace one, you will get the dust and then you will get the, a small quantity of the BMF. From there, the teas are put into storage bins ready for packing. Primary grades are packed in a, a multi-layered paper sack to ensure that there is quality, it maintains quality because there will be no absorption of moisture or dust and then the secondary grades are packed in polypropylene bags. Uh, with that, the teas packed in polypropylene bags and also packed in paper sacks are ready for export to be taken to Mombasa and this now leads to the allocation of the teas. Once the tea has been packed, you can allocate it to various uh, uh, brokers who will also be able now to sell the tea for you. So in a nutshell, that's about the journey of the tea from the farm up to uh, the pack, which will be needed now for you to make a, a nice cup of tea.